Second up in our progression for uh, restoring the entire spinal position when we're trying to get a nice stable neck during our rows. We've talked already about the rock back, you're on your hands and knees, you shift your butt back, it brings your belly back for you. I love that exercise and I usually start people there, but another one that I like to follow up with right after is rocking. So it's kind of like I'm in a, a fetal position where I'm wrapping my arms around my legs, um, I like to grab my toes, and if you can, I like to cross my arms in front of them, hands like this, and touch the opposite foot with that hand and hold on that way. It just gets you nice and scrunched up um, with, the, with your knees into your belly, and it does the same kind of thing that the rock back does. It pushes your belly backwards. It helps your abs get that leverage. So now I can get into this you know, I can start to take away the extra arch that I have in my back, and that will then trickle up into my neck and give me a nice stable neck position. Maybe it won't be enough, but maybe it'll allow me to then cue it during the row. Usually you have to do both. So go back and watch the cueing video if that didn't work after you try this. Rocking is really good if, if you can't hold on to your toes while you do it, which if you're having trouble with your neck, uh, you're probably going to have trouble with the rocking. Um, what I like to do is I give people just a little hand towel and they swing it around their feet and they hold on to the towel so then their hands don't have to get all the way down to their feet. It's a little more comfortable and then I can just, you know, have them rocking back and forth. Now, the idea here, let me grab this lens cap. So the idea here is when I do my rotation, let me hold over here, when I do my rocking, I want to roll like a circle or a sphere. And so every time I go, I rock um, down, you know, let's say I'm squatting and then I rock back to my upper back and then I'm rock, rock back to the squatting position. As I do that, I, I rock my entire body weight over my entire spine. And what I'm trying to get is a nice circular spine that can transmit the force into the rocking. So when I do that, that means that my abs are positioned to turn on. But if I have somebody, uh, if we look at it like a notebook, if I'm rocking like a notebook, it's like thud, 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 thud. Okay, and you'll get that sometimes, especially if you, you know, you lose your ab tension during that or you let go of some of the tension that you have on your hands. It's easy to mess that up, but that's good feedback. Okay, so I want you to look out for, you know, I don't want you to rock like a square. I want you to rock like a circle. Rocking just a really good follow up to the rock back abs. Um, I would do those concomitantly so I would do the rock back first and then I would do the rocking you don't have to like master the rock back and then do the rocking you should probably be doing those in your warm-up in general especially if you have a desk job where you have to sit down a lot and you're really prone to stiffening up and you don't get to move around that much during your work day um, but the the rocking exercise is a great second step to stabilizing your entire spine, but your neck during your row.